ஹலோ டிக்கி வெல்கம் டு ஆட்டோமேஷன் எட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆர்பிஏ ஆஸ் அ சர்வீஸ் நவ் இன் திஸ் டுடோரியல் வி வில் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு இன்ஸ்டால் அண்ட் கான்ஃபிகர் ப்ராசஸ் ஸ்டூடியோ ஆஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் ஆட்டோமேஷன் எட் ஆட்டோமேஷன் எட் ப்ராசஸ் ஸ்டூடியோ இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி த்ரீ மேஜர் காம்போனன்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆட்டோமேஷன் எட் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் process studio is the developer studio for the automation edge it offers drag and drop capabilities that almost eliminates need to write a program or a script while building the process automation edge process studio has a rich library of plugins to access prepare and blend data from disparate data sources under enterprise applications now in this tutorial we will download the process studio and we will learn how to install on configuration process studio we will learn how to create a workplace for the automation edge and finally we will see how to deregister the process studio first of all i will show you how to download the process studio by using automation edge let's switch to browser and then i am going to give the url as automationedge.com after that please provide username and the password which you have already signed up once you have successfully logged into the automation edge there you can see on the top most i can see license overview agents and steps units along with that that you are having process studio you can see over here i am right now using trial version so that i am having one process studio to consume the license there you can see i am having zero license has been consumed now how can i go ahead and download the process studio by using automation edge there you can see in the menu that you are having process studio click on that there you are having download over here you can see download process studio there are two options one is for linux another one for download for windows right now my operating system is windows 10 so that i'm going to download for windows click on that you can see the process studio has been started downloading and it will takes a little bit time to download meanwhile you can see over here i have assigned license or consumed license as 0 out of 1 how can i go ahead and consume the license or assign the licenses there you can see on the right hand side i am having assign license click on that there you can see i am having the users over here you i am having only single user right now so that you can assign that license to the particular user if you want to create another user then in that case you are going to use user tab over here and then you are going to add new user from there you can add a new user i have already added a new user so that right now i'm going to assign the license for the particular user by using assign license this is the first step which i need to do before going to be installing and configuring the process studio all right i have assigned my license for the process studio for the particular user let's click on save now process studio also has been downloaded successfully now if you go to the downloaded location of the process studio there you can see i am having process studio let me extract that first now the entire package for the process studio has extracted successfully now if you open the process studio over here there you can see i am having lot of folders one is bin configuration documentation java library library sw2 logs updates these are all the related to the process studio now let's go to the bin folder there you can see i'm having batch files or powershell scripts on the top of that that you are having process studio let's click on process studio to install and configure process studio for automation edge once you click on process studio it will shows as a screen it will started initializing the process studio you can see over here my automation edge process studio is the version with 7.0.0
Now you can see it is asking for the automation edge server URL, username and the password. What is the automation edge server URL we need to provide? Go to the browser and there you can see t4.automationedge.com. Copy that and then paste the same in the automation edge server URL. All right. The URL is https colon t4.automationedge.com. Now the username and the password which we are going to provide, this is the same username and password which we have used to log in into this. Or else you can see in the assign license that we are having the user, the user which we have created, the same username and the password we are going to provide. All right, now I'm going to give the same username and password. Once you provide username and the password, it will ask to connect. Click on connect. Now it is trying to connecting to the server. On the successful connect of username and password, it will start downloading all the plugins which are related to the Process Studio. There you can see I'm having plugins for Salesforce, OOTB plugin, and whatnot. There's a lot of plugins which we have seen in the previous video. It will try to download each and every plugin and it will take a little bit time to start connecting to the automation edge server. Now, if you see over here, the plugin sync information, you can see all the plugins which are related to the automation edge. There's the Salesforce, Surface, manual intervention, GUI automation, Python, OLAP, and whatnot. There's a lot of plugins has downloaded successfully by using Automation Edge Process Studio. Let's click on close. Now we have downloaded all the plugins. Now we need to initialize the workspace. Where we need to initialize the workspace? In our desktop, we need to create a workspace. All right, let me click on browse. There, inside e colon automation at workspace, I'm going to create a workspace with a new folder name called workspace. All right, let me click on launch. Now you can see automation edge process studio has installed successfully and configured successfully by creating a new workspace. Now this is the GUI for the automation edge process studio. There you can see I'm having workflows and the processes. If you see over here in view, I'm having workflows and the process. Right now, if I want to create any new project, in that case, I'm going to click on file and then new, I'm going to create a new project. And then I'm going to give the name over here as text project. And then I'm going to click on create. Inside that, inside my test project, if I want to create any workflows or the process, then I'm going to click on workflows and process, and then I'm going to click on new. If I want to create a new workflow, then I'm going to select workflow over here. Now you can see over here, I'm going to create a file name with the name of workflow underscore one. It's a default one. Right now I'm going to click on okay. Now you can see over here in the design, I'm having n number of steps over here. There you can see I'm having GUI automation, surface, input, output, automation edge core, transform, utility, and whatnot. There you can see n number of steps that you are going to use to design these workflows and process by using Process Studio Workspace. This is all about the downloading the Process Studio installing and configuration process studio and we have seen how to create the workspace also for the process studio all right now once again if you go for the t4 dot automation edge let me refresh it once again there you can see the process studio registrations there i'm having the machine host name desktop hyphen vk double four five two one this is the host name and the username, and you can see the version which I have downloaded, that is 7.0.0, .0, and the same version has been installed on my local computer. All right, now if you go for the home once again, there you can see the process studios, I have consumed one license out of one license. 
I hope you understand how to download Process Studio. And also we have learned how to install and configure Process Studio. Now, if I want to deregister the Process Studio, in that case, there is a simple option over here. There you can see I'm having option deregister Process Studio. Once you click on deregister Process Studio, in that case, what will happen? It will be the Process Studio will be deregistered from the automation edge. All right. And the host name will be removed from the Process Studio registrations. All right. Thank you for watching Automation Edge tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a good day.